Welcome back everybody to another video, it's me Taj and today we're going to be looking at this. It is the Uta Side Deck uh, ST11 in Japan. It comes in this wonderful little uh, petite deck box. It is a side deck, it's not a main deck, so it's going to include a lot. This, this deck particularly includes a lot of reprints. Shows you there what we get inside the box in Japanese, so you guys might be able to see. There's the back of the box. There's the other side, nothing on the bottom. So let's uh, let's crack on and see what we get in here. So let me just uh, open this up. <clears throat> so as usual, it's all tied up with a plastic on the top. So you just slide that off. Uh, luckily it's the Don card at the front and that at the back because they can get damaged how tightly that plastic holds it. So beware of that. So let's have a look. What is this deck consisting of? First off, we have our leader card. So. This leader is the new Uta leader ST11001. And what exactly does it do? Well, it's uh, 5,000 power, single color, it's a green. And its effect is Dawn times one. Uh, when attacking, reveal one card from the top of your deck and add up to one film type card to your hand, then place the rest at the bottom of your deck. There is a lot of that going on with this particular deck. It's about looking at the top of your deck Looking at the top three, putting a film card in your hand, and I think every single card in this deck is a film type card. So you're gonna be getting something out your hand every single turn. Obviously, if you if you were to use this deck and swap a few cards around, you could potentially end up with no film. Uh, but that's the whole idea of this particular deck is to play around the film mechanics. So that's a beautiful leader card there of Uta. And then we have got another new card in here. So this is ST11002. This is the Uta SR card from the set. As you can see, it is SR foiling on it. And this is a three cost, 4,000 power blocker with a thousand counter. Um, and it's got end of your turn, you may trash one event from your hand, set up to one of your film type characters as active. So potentially you could set up maybe one of your big characters that you've swung with, you don't want it to be vulnerable to attacks next turn, you can re reactivate it, or you can just reactivate, you can use this to swing with and then reactivate this to make it sure it can do a block. On your opponent's turn so you get two copies of that so if you want to play set you're going to need two decks which is quite normal they only usually include two srs not a full play set and then this is the first sr event i've seen i would i think i'm not sure i've seen any other sr events before you can correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure we haven't had an sr event before we have had rare events obviously but this one is called new genesis and it's pretty good. Main, if your leader is Uta, look at the three cards from the top of your deck, reveal up to one film type card other than New Genesis, add it to your hand, then place the rest up at the bottom of your don, uh, deck in any order and set up to one of your Don cards as active. So essentially you are playing this for free. You're doing a free search because uh, you're reactivating a Don so that one cost will will be negated so you're getting two copies of that in here which is why it's an sr i think it's a free search through your deck so pretty good we'll pop that over there and then we have got another uh event card this time it is uh common it's called backlight so for two two cost its main effect is if your leader is uta uh, choose one of the following. Rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. And the second option is KO up to one of your opponent's rested characters with a cost of five or less. So if you've got two of these, you could play one, rest the character, play the other one, KO it. So <laughs> quite good. Uh, two of those, um, very good and quite a powerful thing to get rid of five. Five cost is that sweet point, a lot of uh, good characters are a five cost so it's really good to be able to eliminate those so that was our event and our set our final event card uh, final new card from this deck is i'm invincible so this is a three cost common card and this is um main set up to one of your uta leaders as active so it lets you reactivate your leader and trigger up to one of your leaders or characters gains plus 1000 power during this turn. So for the whole turn, your, your leader or one of your characters is gonna get plus 1000. So two, four copies of those in here. 
and then we start looking at the film package from OPO2. Yes, this particular deck consists of a lot of these film cards from OPO2. So you've got Vanilla, Usopp here, uh, three cost, 5,000 power and 1,000 counter, which is what you'd expect from a Vanilla, but it's obviously a film type as well as being a straw hat type. So yeah, you get a play set of that. So three copies of that. And you also get another vanilla, which is Jinbei. Two cost, 4,000 power, 1,000 cat hour. What you'd expect from vanilla again. Uh, film, Straw Hat Crew, Jinbei. Four copies of that, so you get a play set of that. So those are commons from the set, from OPO2. Then we get the uncommon, which is Tony Tony Chopper. And this particular chopper is two cost, 2,000 power. It's a 2,000 counter, so really good. You need at least, I would say, 8 to 12. Well, ideally, you want sort of 12, 2,000 counters in any deck just to be able to counter out. But this one is Don times 1. When attacking, rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 2 or less. Uh, that's what this chopper does. And you get a full play set of that as well. So pop that down there. Then we've got our good old boy Trafalgar Law. <clears throat> Trafalgar Law is a two cost, 3,000 power, 1,000 counter, and activate main uh, for one Don. So you rest a Don, you may return this character to the owner's hand, uh, play up to one character with a cost of three from your hand. So essentially, you know, you could play this, say you're going first, second, you could play this turn one, uh, because you don't have anything else you can play, but then the next turn you pay one Dawn and you can bring something out that's three. So you're essentially playing into that and in the meantime it's a thousand counter as well. So it does give you options and there are other ways to play. A lot of two costs here, so you can bring it out and then bring a three cost out. So there's Trafalgar Law there. Then we have got Nico Robin. And Nico Robin is three cost, 4,000 power. So um, 1,000 counter and on play, uh, play up to one cost two or lower film or straw hat type character card from your hand. So again, you could play Nico Robin, you can then play Trafalgar Law, uh, Rest One Dawn, you could then play out uh, another <laughs> Nico Robin. You see what I'm saying here? There's a bit of a loop there, a bit of a way you can cheat stuff out essentially for a little bit cheaper than what it would cost you to play them, hard, hard play them. So we've got Nico Robin there. Then we have got Frankie, which is a vanilla, five cost, 7,000 power. Um, he's a common as well, uh, 1,000 counter. Not much else to be said about that. Uh, so we'll pop that down there. Then we got Brook, which is another one of those, 4,000, it's four, sorry, it's a four cost, 5,000 power with 1,000 counter. And it's got an on play, play up to one cost three or lower film or straw hat uh, crew type card from your hand. So you can use this to play the Uta blocker, uh, you can use it to play uh, Nico Robin, uh, Usopp if you wanted to. So it gives you several options. Um, so pretty much most of the rest of this deck, apart from Frankie, obviously, that we've seen so far. So four copies of that. And then we've got the big seven cost um, <coughs> rare Luffy. So this is this is slightly different because this is the non-hollow version. This is the only way to get the non-hollow version of this particular card. Um, it is a rare and it is um, a blocker. So seven cost, 7,000 power blocker. No counter on this one. But on play, play up to one of your film or straw hat crew type characters with a cost of four or less from your hand. So you can play anything in this deck apart from Frankie. <clears throat> you can use Brook, get Brook, play something else. There's combos going here. You can fill up your board. You can literally, if your board is wiped out, you've got seven Dawn, you can bring this out and you can start filling your board up fairly quickly with with the cards in hand. Well, if you've got eight Don, you can use, get Trafalgar Law out and cheat something else out as well. You, you get the drift, right? So you can play Brook, play Nico Robin, Nico Robin brings out Law, play pay one Don, bring out another Nico Robin, bring out another Trafalgar Law. There's ways you can do this. There's ways you can do this. And then we got the common um, Zorro here. Again, another vanilla, four cost, 6,000 power, 1,000 counter. Not much else to be said about that one. And then we have got one more event. I did lie, the, 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 I didn't lie actually. Those were the new events that we talked about earlier. There is another event card and this one is from OPO2 as well. Three sword style, Onigiri. Um, so this one is a counter card. So you can 
literally play it on your opponent's turn to counter so you'd have to have three don available but um, one of your leaders or characters gains plus 6,000 power during this battle then you may play up to one cost three or lower character card without effects from your hand which is where all the vanillas come into play um, and then trigger rest up to one of your opponent's leaders or cost five or lower characters so yeah so a lot of cards from paramount war from uh, opo2 in here but uh, that is the deck let me know what you guys think do you think that uh, this is a good deck to potentially get two copies of and merge it and try and play with it or do you think this is there's some good components in here new components from the uta package that you could use to build the deck around i know that this deck has seen some um success out in japan so um let me know what you guys think in the comments below but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on the next one take care bye